skateboarding, racer, electric dirt biking. So it's crazy. Next question. I want to talk about. Um, this is a big one, but so right now, for a little bit of a while, the the police, uh, men and women who are serving our the county as police officers and etc. I've been getting a bad image because of a few police officers that have been doing some bad stuff. You yeah. know, let's just say bad stuff, leave it at that. Some tragic events. Um, you know, there's a lot of there's been a lot of shootings that have been going on and they had been a white male, some of them with it like maybe a Christian guy, maybe, I don't know if it was Christian for sure, but I've seen some of those come on the news who who had a gun. And because of a few of those, it's made a lot of people that you know, like to have guns in their house look bad. It, you know, or, or not bad, but like there's, you know what I mean? And, yeah. And, yeah. And like police officers are some, to some respect, they're, they're being, you know, frowned upon and yeah. looked at, oh, they're going to shoot us and stuff. And, and, um, I don't know, what, what are your thoughts kind of on that? I think before it, I go through I think it all comes from your intention. If you wake up every morning and choose to protect people, that's your decision. If you wake up every morning and choose and, yeah. to be respectful to people, that's your decision. If you wake up every morning and decide to be happy, that's your decision. You have someone who wakes up in the morning and wants to harm somebody, that's on them, okay? If you have someone who wakes up in the morning and wants to protect someone, that's on them. The media is what makes those paths cross, if that makes sense. So yeah. it makes it look like yeah. all police officers want to wake up and shoot somebody or wakes up and says all black white males male between the age of are, 23 and 27 want to wake up and, and all lonely white guys put themselves into a situation where lonely, they get shot. And all lonely white guys with a gun are going to go shoot and do horrible things. Um, it's, I think there's a lot of generalizations being I, made. But I think all, that regardless of murders and, and, and horrible things that are happening, we have to stop looking at them by their race and religion oh, or, or, you know, their job and just see that as an issue and not blame it on the rest of the group that is with that, with the police officers. Too many generalizations. And look, the police officers have a horrendously hard job. Oh my God. They wake up every morning and their spouses don't know if they're going to come home. And the amount of training that they get mm -hmm. is argued to be not enough for the situations that they're going they through. They wake up every morning and want to protect us. Right. And, 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 and while we all get to... Go to work. Right. Go make dinner. Go right. eat lunch. Go home. Go to bed. Right. And They're I, out there. Protecting and I'm everybody. not saying that it should be justified. And if something bad happens with one police officer doing something to an African American or whatever, we should ignore or go past it. But what I'm saying is that we should not uh, blame or victimize and, and say that the entire police, they're all this or they're all that, because that's not going to fix anything. And the reason why I really want to talk about police officers getting frowned upon, uh, white male Christians getting frowned upon, and some of these things that like normally a couple five years ago weren't being frowned upon or whatever it's because it's kind of funny to me it's kind of similar now it's like you can put the same category I am at least and I might get hate for it but uh, police officers and white males are now kind of being put in the same category as many of uh, people who believe in Islam a lot of Muslims and uh, people who are Middle Eastern even Indians Pakistani people Afghani people you know, right after 9-11 and, and ISIS and all these things that we're still going through, um, a lot of people from the Middle East, and I'm, I, I'm a little included and I'm trying not to be biased here, but I feel like um, now it's almost like police officers and white males and, and, and other groups are also being put in the same classification. Not the same standard, I'm saying there's different levels, but like the same classification as like danger, bad, you know, like, like and, and I think that's actually... Yeah, in a way, a good thing. There's so much hate neg negativity in this world. But, but but I think it's this hate negativity that might bring everyone together. Because at every point, uh, religion or race had been, you know, discriminated against. And I think that we can all understand how, like, you can't blame one horrible person or a couple horrible people on that whole group. whole group. The same goes yeah. for Muslims. Yeah. The same goes for anyone who's even Middle Eastern who's not even a Muslim, but gets painted on as you're a Muslim and you're a terrorist, or yeah. this is Muslim, this is a terrorist. I mean, or, or police officers or gun owners, you know, and, and I think that we all need to get past that. But a great thing that I wanted to talk about this was that 
we can all now unite because we're all everyone's been discriminated. Like everyone's together. Yeah. You're right. That's Everybody's what I was trying had to make something a weird against difference. them. That's what I was trying to make a weird difference. Everybody's had, you can put. Like the few any, white people that didn't like Middle Eastern people. Any race. Now they're kind of like, yeah. There's some sort of generalization towards every single right. one. So you're right. Now that all that's happened, it's like, all right, can we move on now? Can we forget all of this? And can we see that, like, it's just not, this is not how it yeah. has to go? If, you know, I, I think about that a lot, and it, it honestly, like, it's sad, it's depressing, it's overwhelming. That that's something that we have to deal with day to day, or you turn on the news and all you see is hate and neg- negativity. But if I wake up every morning and decide to love every person in my life, if I decide to um, spread positivity, if I lift other women up, if I um, support other men in my life, if if we do all those things. It's going to make a difference. I'm going to influence you. Yeah. You're going to do all those things. I'm going to influence Everyone around person. you is going to do that. That is the only way we can get out of this mess. There is no shortcut yeah. to being a good person. The yeah. only thing you can do is start with yourself. And, and I find it so interesting, and I jib-jabbed a lot, <laughs> like, so much getting right. off the point, trying to get this yeah, topic out. Yeah, I, I totally get um, I think that we often look so much at, like, our differences instead of looking at all the similarities everyone has. And right now, we just named a big one. By discrimination that's been made on every single race. Yeah. Every single religion, every yeah. single person. But I, I, I just, I thought it was a good uh, comparison between, you know, some white males being seen as they're all going to shoot us or police officers are going to shoot us too. He's Middle Eastern. He's going to blow us up. Go think a police officer. Yeah. They wake up every morning to protect us. Right. Go think a school teacher. They wake up every morning and want to teach all the kids. Go think a nurse. All they do is go to work and help people. Go thank a Middle Eastern person. Like go me. thank your host at Lower Fish House. Because all he wants to do is sit you down and give you a good meal. Not blow you up. <laughs> blow you up with laps, though. <laughs> there you go. Alright, that was good. Um, yeah, you know, and as long as, you know, you're... You know, to me, another thing I want to talk about was just... If you're on the soil here, and you're paying taxes, and, and you're... And you're Know, buying everything and, and you're you know you're working a hard job to pay for your family to me you're an american and that's just period and i, and I had no transition or setup i just wanted to say that so there we go I agree with that. all right 